Hi traders, I'm having a red day today. I'm down $16,000, uh, Tesla, Nike, ZM, everything went wrong today. But I do want to discuss this a little bit. You know, although everything went wrong, I don't feel like I've done the wrong things. For example, the market was supposed, in my opinion, my gut feeling was that the market would move higher. That's why I went long. I went long Nike, I went long Tesla, and I went long ZM. All of them failed. You know, Nike should have moved higher because it's a gap. It should have been a gap and go. And it's a well-known company. It's up 9%. It should have moved higher. The S&P yesterday moved higher and it should continue higher. Well, it did not. It failed. It is still coming down. ZM should have moved higher. It did. I was right, but I did not move it at the right place. I moved right over here. It came down, took me out. Well, that's just probably a bad luck. And then Tesla, I felt like it should move higher. It came down. What, that, what do I mean by I felt like it should move higher? And that's a topic of our lesson today if you did not understand that by now. I'm talking about my gut feeling. My gut feeling is extremely important. This is something that you too should develop over time. You know, when you're just starting out as a trader, you're probably wrong most of the time. Like you think you should go long, you probably should go short. You think you should go short, you probably should go long. So things happen when you're starting out as a trader in totally different than you expect it to happen and that's very natural during time you go through some kind of a transformation and then throughout the years you develop your gut feeling gut feeling in the decision making process is very important yes i've got it all wrong today but will i still continue to trust myself tomorrow yes i will because it takes a big part in my decision making well i don't know if that's a major part but sometimes i take a look at the technical formation and i have the feeling that although the technical formation looks perfect solid good the trade is going to fail. So I may mention, like I did today in the trading room, let's go long Tesla, I said, but I'm going to go in small size because somehow I felt like, yes, it's kind of trading higher, it should move higher, but, you know, I had some kind of a bad feeling about this trade. It sounds funny. What, what do I mean about the bad feeling? I should be only looking at technicals, right? Well, the answer is no. You develop your gut feeling throughout in time throughout the years and it gets better and better in time you will get a better trader because your gut feeling will get better in time that's how it works don't trust it when you're just starting out but definitely over the years you should give it more and more weight and you know just think about your gut feeling as something which is um, maybe the same as watching the technicals of a stock that you're trading. Yes, you will be wrong sometimes, many times, but the gut feeling at the end of the game is going to help you to become a better trader. So don't disregard your gut feeling, just develop it over time, become a better trader because you believe that something is about to happen. Your belief, your gut feeling, as I call it, is in fact many small parts of many things that happen that you cannot really name, like market direction, the volume, uh, the direction, I mean, what, what was mentioned in the news today, possibly, and everything else. I mean, gut feeling is not just voodoo. It's something that is being developed over a long period of time with a lot of experience and with a lot of data that sometimes you're not really aware of. So take it seriously. It is important. Develop it over time. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, traders. Thank you for watching our video. The material was taken from The Market Whisperer, my Amazon best-selling book. This essential guide to stock trading is ideal for those with no background or experience in stock trading. Click here to read the 200-page part one of this book absolutely free. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.